hello student welcome back okay in the part 2 video we have seen that how are different or various transmission media are used what are their bandwidth okay what are their length segment how what are how the insulation charges their cause okay and the interference that is the cross talk okay now after this now let's cover this further chapter that is microwave that is also a terrestrial microwave it is the signal that are used to transmit the data without the use of cable the microwave signals are similar to radio and television signals and are used for long distance communication the microwave transmission consists of a transmitter receiver and the atmosphere okay now it what are its advantages it proves cheaper than taking trenches or laying cables or maintaining repeaters and cables if cables get broken by a variety of causes it offers freedom from land acquisition right okay and it offers ease of communication over difficult terrain microwave have the ability to communicate over oceans now what are its disadvantages it is an insecure communication and signal from a single antenna may split up and propagate by slightly different path to the receiving antenna when these out uh, out of phase signal it recombine the interfere reducing the signal strength okay then microwave propagation is susceptible to the weather effects like rain thunder storm etc and the bandwidth is also extremely limited in case of microwave the cost of design implementation and maintenance of microwave is very high same way as microwave we have radio wave but in this the transmission makes the use of radio frequencies okay that's why you see when you set the radio you know the working of radio how it work we have to set the frequency that catches the signal okay that receive the signal all radio today however use continuous sine wave to transmit information that is audio video data etc each different radio signal uses a different sine or was frequency okay that is how they are all separated the sine waves are there any radio setup has two parts one is transmitter and the other one is receiver fine now what are its advantages the receiver is the antennas then we have advantages radio wave transmission offers mobility it proves uh, cheaper than taking trenches for laying cables and maintaining repeaters cables if cables get broken by a variety of causes it also offers freedom from land acquisition right that are required for laying repairing the cables okay it offers ease of communication over the difficult terrain then disadvantages of what again it is an insecure communication here also it is susceptible to weather effects like rain thunder etc security of each communication link is almost non existent even so that equipment has many advantages and is widely used by taxi repair courier and delivery services okay then we have satellite satellite channels are used satellite uh, channels are there okay so they generally radio can be classified like you can see radio wave can be classified by frequency and wavelength when the frequency is higher it is named as microwave okay then satellite communication is special case of microwave relay system satellite communication use the synchronous satellite to relay the radio signal transmitted from ground station it is recently the use of wireless communication has gained more popularity okay compared to the traditional fixed wire terrestrial network satellite and microwave communication network features the time saving fast implementation and broad coverage characteristics okay and it provides what it provide voice fax data video services as well as email file server www internet application and so on fine so next we have a number of communication satellites owned by go both government and private organization have been placed in a stationary orbits of about 22300 miles above the earth surface okay then what are its advantages the area coverage through satellite transmission is quite large the laying and maintenance of intercontinental cable is difficult and expensive and this is why where the satellite proves to be the best alternative okay then the heavy usage of intercontinental traffic make the satellite commercial attractive satellites can cover large areas of earth 
this is particularly useful for sparsely populated area okay and then disadvantage of what technological limitations preventing the deployment of large high gain antenna on the satellite platform then overcrowding of available bandwidth due to low antenna gain then we have the high investment cost and insurance cost associated with significant probability of failure high atmosphere loses over 30 gigahertz limit carrier frequencies okay then we have other unguided media what are the other unguided media they are the infrared and laser wave that you use in your remote that infrared lights are there this type of transmission uses infrared light to send data you can see the use of this type of transmission in everyday life that is tv remotes on automotive garage doors wireless speakers etc okay then we have laser transmission laser transmission is what it requires direct line of sight it is undirectional like microwave but has much higher speed than microwave the laser transmission requires the use of a laser transmitter and a photosensitive receiver at each end the laser transmission is point to point transmission typically between the building but laser have a certain disadvantage which is it can be adversely affected by weather okay so in next part 4 video we will be covering basics of computer network okay thank you and take care